in order to make this project work and in order to make it viable, um, I, I have to be able to um, adapt, um, be flexible, I have to be able to accept criticism, I have to be able to redo the work, even though it's a lot of work, I have to be able to, to, to redo it um, if, if that's what the, the, the need is. And um, I just have to be vigilant. Uh, many times I've thought about giving up, um, but um, giving up is not an option. Retreat is not an option, and failure is not an option. So the only way for the only way is forward. So um, um, yes, and in my quest to look for people who will. Um, help me or mentor me because finances are not the only type of help that people need. People also need mentorship as well, um, not only in um, business development but also in leadership and, and, and you know, how I present myself um, as a founder, as a manager as well, it is very important. How I deal with my team is also very important. And um, going forward, I may not be the, the managing director of my own company. I may have to give up that seat to somebody who's more qualified than, than I am. But um, the important thing um, right now is to get the project off the ground, to gain traction, and, and start moving forward. So I hope I've, I've given you uh, <laughs> the long version of, of, of my project. Yeah, I, I'm happy that you have that vision that you need to improve, you need to listen, you need to do the rework, you need to be open to learn eventually leave the seat of CEO or leading the company for somebody else that would fit the business better. All those aspects are positive by your side. It was a very good thinking. It's very good to listen that you want to make it happen and it's very, very important. You, as an entrepreneur, you are the head and the arms of the project. If you are able to give up other things in order to make it happen, it's all investors want to listen. So this part of your presentation was uh, very good. I believe that if you keep this mindset it will help you a lot, it will make you grow, it will make you get to your objectives faster and you will be able to implement the project and any project that you want. So keep this mindset that it's very important and it will make you build the company that you want and reach the objectives that you are looking for. Talking about the project as a whole, uh, the way that you structured your presentation is not the best one to do. I'm, I'm glad to hear that this is not your pitch deck. This is only a document that you used to put your thoughts on the paper and to try to start structuring. Yes. When you are building your pitch deck, you need mm -hmm. to build a story. It's very important to be very effective and mm -hmm. follow a sequence of things to make your presentation better and most effective. Once you have uh, prepared all the topics that you should include in your presentation, the next step is to define what is the sequence that you are going to present. Because the sequence, the sequence will make all difference. 
it will make your presentation uh, better you need to think uh -huh. on a flow to make it good for investors to listen to uh -huh. the way that you present today it was very complete in a sense of presenting everything that you thought but it was kind of sensitive it was kind of mm -hmm. hard to follow all time because mm -hmm. you were making your presentation for almost one hour and if we listen to one hour pitch with only topics which was what you mm -hmm. did it's kind of not good in order to okay. be in order to be more effective you need to build a story that needs to contemplate some important themes the first thing that you need to bring is the your value proposition in one sentence that will explain the heart of your project if you are able to build up this sentence it will be very easy for the investors to identify right away what you are talking to so it's very important to build one sentence at the beginning of your presentation and i like suggesting one very effective tool which is bringing an image to your first page to your front page if you bring one image try to create connection with the investors try to demonstrate what the image of your company of your business and how this image could connect with him or with them okay so first thing that you need to be aware of is that you need to create an emotional connection with the investors if you use an image at the beginning of your presentation to create this connection it will be very effective it will be it will create empathy and empathy is very important Okay. Some entrepreneurs, they think that they need to create a very rational pitch deck. But it's not totally true. They need to use a lot of rational on the pitch deck, but they need to create an emotional connection. This is very important. So the first thing that I would suggest you to do is to work on a front page and use this front page in order to create that emotion create that connection once you do that the next step you should create a slide that present your market need the best way to present the market need is to define a persona have you heard about persona what does it mean like a personality kind of it's not a personality no. but it's a creation of a person yeah. that illustrate the problem of people that you're gonna to attend that you're gonna to help okay. and when you talk about persona what you need to okay. consider is what are their characteristics it also includes personality but it includes their fears their goals who are they 
who they live with, where are they from. All those aspects are very important to build your persona. And why is it important? It's important because this way you can introduce the problem of the market in a very emotional way and it's personalized it's you can provide your audience and investors with a clear concept of your public need is it clear mm -hmm. I'm just everything down. great <clears throat> Once you have this persona and you describe the problem of the persona, you present the solution. What is the solution that you are bringing to those people? And this persona can be a person or it can be a government, it could be a company, depending on the public depending on your target, you can build different personas to include it in the story that you're going to tell. Once you have defined the personas and also addressed their needs, the best way to do it is to present right away the solution that you're presenting and the solution that will help them. Okay. When you present the persona and the solution, you should provide the market size. I saw in your presentation and in this document that you came up with few numbers but those numbers are not very specific they are very big oh. what i would consider is to make it more clear exactly on the needs that you're gonna work on so if you're gonna work okay. on waste management what are the amount of in tons that zambia produce related to waste and what's the percentage of them that are managed okay if you provide those numbers it will be easier to present what you're doing and the market size after presenting the market size you will present your business model. What is your business model? How you are going to make money? How much are you, are you going to charge the clients? Who will pay? What are the, the costs to obtain this revenue? What is the cost of acquisition? of customer acquisition so you need to know how much it will cost to you to acquire a customer you are going to invest in marketing you are going to invest in sales so you need to know how much it will cost to make them your clients and when you have how much money you're going to charge for them and how much it will cost it will be easy it will be easy to demonstrate that you have a good business model and that your project will have profit at the end of the day okay. because you just mentioned that you believe that it will be profit that you make it profitable but believe is not enough. You need to present some numbers and you need to have those. So in order to present in an effective way, present how are you going to make money? 
how much are you gonna charge from the, for our customers? Mm -hmm. How does it cost for you to acquire those customers? What are the other investments that you need to do in our company in order to have this building? In order to have this business built? So, mm -hmm. you need to work on the financials as well. When you talk about the revenue and okay. costs, you also need to consider other expenses, how is the operation, because you will deal with a lot of products, a lot of waste, a lot of services, and it has yeah. costs. And it will make you spend on those topics on those activities so you need to estimate how much it will be another very important topic that i didn't see in your presentation today was the team who are gonna help you bringing this company yeah. to the next level who are the people that you you have on your side or who are the people that you are looking for in order to help you building this business if you don't have them? So those are very important topics that you need to include on your presentation. And you need to be able to build the company more than people. You need to have experts on your side. You mentioned that you are not a businesswoman yet, but you want them to be on your side. So another thing that you have to be clear on your presentation is to define exactly what kind of help are you going to have. So if you are looking for investors or looking for partners or mentors you need to know what kind of mentorship you want what kind of skills you are looking for you are on the waste market you need to find some people that will help on this area you need to build a financial model you need to build a team you need to be a leader who are the people that will be able to make you grow to build your company so think carefully on the people that you are looking for another team that you develop in order to present to investors that are out of your country is the benefits of invest in Zambia. It's very good to present that topic because people might not know about how things happen there, what are the incentives and what would be interested what would be interesting for them to invest. So it was good to include this part but I wouldn't include in your pitch deck. I would include it on the part that you will talk to the investors after your presentation. It's the second step, I would say. So instead of presenting everything at once, you need to select what you want to present and what will make the most impact for them. So if you are able to introduce the relevant aspects on your pitch deck you make a very good first impression and then afterwards you can talk about other details like your country's uh, population gdp statistics benefits everything what i suggest to you to do is to prepare a very effective pitch deck that will bring emotional aspects to your presentation 
to make it more clear, to make it more simple, to go to the point, directly to the point. So if you bring a very good front page, if you bring a very good definition of your persona and what are their needs related to the solution that you're bringing to the market, talking about the market size, describing your revenue model and your business model, what are the costs involved, what are the expenses, how you believe that your operations will be and how much money it will require what's the cost of acquisition of new clients what are the skills that you are looking for for from the mentors or from the investors it's very important to mention what kind of help you want how they could contribute is it for the waste management? Is it for financial? Is it for business model? Is it for pricing? So we have a lot of expertise that people could add to your business and help that you will require from them. That's important to mention to each one of them. So I believe that if you consider all those aspects on your pitch deck when you're building it up, you will have a more effective pitch deck to present to the investors and mentors and it will increase you, the probability of you getting the help you need. It could be with expertise, skills, or money to invest on your idea. And try to avoid talking about beliefs. Beliefs in the sense of the business. Oh, I believe that this business will grow, this business will be profitable. You need to present money and show that you do the research. If you are not on the market yet, I suggest you to go to the market, go outside, talk to people, test your product and try to get feedback from the market and add to your presentation. If you have this feedback, it will be more effective. The investors will see more credibility on your pitch deck and on your presentation as a whole. So those things should be considered on your presentation and as next steps to your business. Does it make sense? It makes a lot of sense. It makes a lot of sense. Well, was it so, helpful? Yes, yes. So, uh, Chris, a front page that has an image. Exactly. So that I can establish an emotional connection. Exactly. With with the with the investors. Present a market base with a persona. Exactly. What are their needs? Uh, who are they? Where do they live? What are their needs? Exactly. Um, yeah. Um, what are the goals? What are the fears? Where are they from? Yeah. And create the persona. From, from that persona, I go into the solutions. Yeah. What are the solutions? What are their needs? What's, uh, what's the solution to their needs? Exactly. Because the needs... Like? Yeah, because the needs you have already talked about it, right? When you present the persona. Yeah. So the solution will address the needs. And then what's the market size? How much people are yeah. going to be... Are going to help? How much people are out there for you to help? 
how much waste you can manage. When you, when you think about expansion on your business, not now. I wouldn't suggest you to think about it right now, but you need to consider expansion. So let's start on Zambia, on this particular city, on this particular place. So afterwards, what will be the next step? Is it a re replicable model? Can you repeat it in other places? Or it's only on Zambia on this location? Because if it's only in one location and it's and if it's hard to replicate, it will hard to expand, grow and make more money and help more people. So you need to think on a project that is scalable. So it's one thing that you need to keep in mind. Start talking about the Zambia market, the local market. And then if you want to say that your model is replicable and you have the possibility to expand in two or three more places going forward in the next years, it's good. But try to start in one location. So the market size, how much waste is there in total? And how much waste is already being managed on that waste? Now I talk about the business model. How much would it cost me to, to, to get clients? Other expenses. How is the project going to make money? What other investments need to be made? Yes. By the company. Yeah. My team. Who is on the team? I know that's very important. I, I, I need to put that in. I've, I've got a good team. So who, who is on the team? Exactly. And another another tip here that I can give you is uh, when you are presenting the team, try to include the results that they already achieved okay. in each area of their expertise. It's very important. It's more important than university or college or graduation. If they, if the team gets results, it's more important to include on our pitch deck the results than other information that it will be hard to see if the people is really good or not that good. Sorry. I have to um, be specific on what I actually want from the um, investors, the skills that I'm looking for, whether exactly. it's finance, mentorship, or specific skills to do with waste management and recycling. I have to, I have to be clear on that. Exactly. So I, would I put that at, at the end of the PowerPoint? Yeah. Okay. And it's important also to have a call to action. Do you know call to action? No. No? Call to action is a call in order to people do something. So one very important thing is that you should ask them for something. You should ask them for help. So this is very important. This is one topic that some or few entrepreneurs mm, don't do. And it's very important because the investors will know exactly what you're looking for and what they, what could they contribute with. So it's very important. You can finish your presentation with this topic. Yeah, so, so uh, I've been asked the presentation in the UK on the 9th of July. There's going to be a lot of, um, it's the, they're called the Resource Association. And every month they have this um, summer reception and I've been asked to give 
a presentation. I've been asked to present my business there. Thank you so much. Thank you. Enjoy the rest of your day. You too. Bye-bye. Okay.